What great force made a lovely girl choose self-imprisonment? Estella, you must leave this house. It's a dead house. Nothing can live here. What was the brooding secret of a young man's childhood? The brilliant team of film craftsmen that brought this happy breed, blithe spirit and brief encounter to the screen have gone to Charles Dickens for their latest story. Not because he is a classic writer, but because he is the greatest storyteller of all time. Because no one can portray more faithfully than Dickens the hopes and doubts that dwell in the heart of a boy or hold you poised so perilously between a smile and a lump in the throat. I wish I could kiss you goodbye. Who could paint more vigorously than Dickens in the broad colours of melodrama? John Mills is the boy grown up with great expectations. Lovely Valerie Hobson is Estella, grown up from the spoilt little girl who allowed Pip to kiss her. Introducing Anthony Wager, chosen from many hundreds of boys to play Pip when young. Gene Simmons, already started on the road to stardom. And the 101 odd characters that come to life beneath the sure hand of the master. The fools and the criminals, the weak and the strong, the vain, the meek, the modest, the brazen, the gay, the sorrowful, the desperate, and the pompous. Francis L. Sullivan is Jaggers, the lawyer. What do you suppose you are living at the rate of? The rate of, Mr. Jaggers? The rate of. Nursing a broken heart in a morass of self-pity, the mad Miss Havisham, played by Martita Hunt. Bernard Miles as Joe Gargery, Pip's humble, faithful friend. And hunted alike by the law and the lawbreakers, Finley Curry as Magwitch. Oh, Lord, be merciful to him. The sinner. Come back, Miss Havisham. I have come back to let in the sunlight. 